Let's continue deciphering October. All right. So the letter O. I see the letter O as um, an individual that is always willing to be part of something. Right? Um, if they don't have someone on their side, it's like, oh, my God. Oh my God, like even though you just see a circle, you just see a letter on its own. But what number does it, what does, what number does it become? It's a 15. A 15, it has two numbers in it, right? Two digits is a double digit. All right. So individuals with the letter O. They make it seem like, oh, they're okay being by themselves and this and that. Are you, or is it an individual that likes to pretend like they're okay by themselves, but they always hide the fact that they need to be surrounding themselves and be part of something, be surrounded by other individuals, right? Um... I see the letter O as being a fixed sign, right? Leo, right? Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. All right. How do I see the letter C? I see the letter C as cardinal. Cardinal. And they go either way. It's like, all right. Uh, it's like I could become an O. But I'm not. I'm a C. Right? I'm a C. I'm a letter C. All right? And, and it's like they go, they're the third one from the alphabet. So it's like, okay, there's uh, people before me and there's people in front of me. They're in like, you know what I'm saying? They're like in the beginning stages and they're like, they um seem to be... They worry about other things, okay? So cardinals will be Libras, okay? They're well balanced. So they see logic and positivity, even if there is negativity, okay? So Libras, Cancers, right? Um, Virgos, right? Um, and so, yeah. Now, the letter T, I would see it as immutable. Immutable. Because the letter T... Again, it needs something in order for it to be a, a, a motherfucking.